this lesson, we're going to create our very first script. And it is Hello World. It, if you've done any programming in the past, you will be familiar with the Hello World script. Um, usually, it's the first script that people learn to do with whatever um, programming language that they are working with right now. So let's open up the script editor here. And under Python tab, we'll start our script. A cool little thing that you can do with this script right here, because if I type something, the code is pretty small. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. Uh, what you can do is hold down the control key on the keyboard and middle mouse button scroll. It should increase the size of the line. So I'll do that to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, let me clear the history so that way you guys can see when I execute the code. And something to look at when you're writing code for Python is that there's two kind of current versions running right now. There's um, Python 2 and Python 3. What is installed with Maya is Python 2. So um, you can write the hello world in a much kind of simpler way, I guess. So print and then you put the string. So a string is a set of characters inside of quotes. So you can do hello world. Maybe I'll scroll down or make this a little bit bigger. There we go. OK, so this would be the line of code. And if I want to execute this, I push the Enter key on the numeric keypad. And it will run it. So we can see the code that it wrote and then the output that it ended up writing. Watch out for it is that you would think that it would also output it here with the print function, but it doesn't really do that. So the, um, we'll go over in a minute how to get that um, to show up. But by default, just using a standard print, it will not do that. OK, so that's kind of the way that it was designed in Python 2. Uh, but the version of Python that we have, we can actually do some of the code the way they do it in Python 3. And as much as possible, I'm going to try to kind of lean towards that when I'm going here because at some point I would assume that they're going to upgrade to Python 3. So you can do print and then open up a parentheses, start a quote and then do hello world. And then you have to close the quote and close the parentheses. So this is treating it more like a function. So this is a print function. And then you have your arguments inside of quotes. And that's kind of more standard practice now with version 3 being out. So I can um, push Enter. Actually, let me select everything, copy it really quick so I don't have to type it out again. And push Enter. And it will do the same thing, just adding the parentheses around everything. I'm pasting it back into the line here. Um, with what we did here, basically we can run the execute button here as long as we have the cursor selected inside of that window. Run it and it will run th that code as well. Um, something else that you can do when you're running code, so let me paste it back in here, is select everything here and then push enter on the numeric keypad and it will run it without getting it off of the script editor down here, which is kind of nice because you don't want have to have to keep on copying and pasting your code in there. Also, if you push this button here that says execute all and you run it, it does the same thing. So it will execute all the code in your script without having to select it and run it without getting it off of the um, script editor. Another benefit to being able to highlight it, and let's see if it actually runs with this, yeah. So if you just click the execute with it highlighted, it will run the code. It won't get the um, code off of the window, but it will only run whatever is currently selected. So I can do the same thing with selecting all this and then pushing enter on the numeric keypad. 
So it only runs that one line of code. If I had extra lines of code, then it wouldn't run. Okay, so this is the most basic form of hello world being able to output it here in the um, history and the command prompt here. Let's take a look at another way to do this so that we get the output here in the small window, the little output window that we have at the bottom of the script here or of the wi Maya window. So the first thing we have to do is import Sys. Um, so this is a library that we have access to that gives us more commands to run. It's not things that are built in with the base level of um, Python, but when you get the system library or the sys, then we can do other things and have access to more commands. So that is already installed by default here inside of Maya for us. We just have to tell it to access it. So now on line two, what I'm going to do is say um, SYS because I'm accessing the system library now, dot, and it separates it so that we can go into something else. Um, STD out, so this is standard out, and what are we gonna do with that standard out is write. And then I think we can just do single quotes. So let's put it in there. Um, so we'll say, hello world. There we go. And then let's select everything and run it. And you can see that it pops up up here, but it also pops up in the output window down here. That is great. Now let's look at um, a couple other things that you can do with a script when you're running it so that way um, you don't always have to open it here. We can um, create a file and run the file. So we'll look at saving the file and then also we'll look at creating a button that will run our script as well. So really quickly to save the file, just go File, save script, and I'm going to save it onto my desktop, call it hello world, and this is a Python file, so I can save it, and it should be on my desktop, which we can see right here, and now if we want to get access to that, let's say a um, deleted that tab. Oh, it needs at least one. Okay, so let's say I deleted all my code and I did something else. So let's open up a mail tab so that we know that we absolutely got rid of it. Let's um, delete that tab. Yes, go to here and I'm going to create a Python pad tab and then delete the mail tab. I'm just doing this so that we can see that it's absolutely gone. We can go to open script, go to desktop, select hello world, and it loads all that script. Um, it looks like I maybe had it highlighted and didn't select the um, I. So be careful with that when you select it. If you don't have it selected, it will save the whole thing. Um, but now if I do file script or save script, it will save it with that change to the hello world. So you can see now instead of the Python tab that we have here, we can delete that tab. We have the hello world.py tab. So we're working with this direct file here. Okay, so the other thing that we can do is, let's see, I'll put it into my custom tab here is create a button that we can run our code from. So I'm going to highlight all this and then middle mouse button, uh, drag it onto that custom shelf. So now when I push this button here on the tab, it is giving us an error. So let's check why it is giving us this error. Let's make sure that it runs here. 
So it is not running here. Hello world, right? Let's copy this into a Python tab, making sure that it reads it as Python. Shouldn't be the issue. Uh, import sys, hello world. Oh, it's because I have the extra line that I typed in, hello world. I don't know how that happened. So let's delete this tab. And here, make sure that we don't have that last line. I might have had the history selected right here, and then it um, saved that as a script. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen in the future. But here, we can save script. And that should update that file. Let's delete this button. And then select it all, middle mouse button drag onto the custom shelf, and if we push that, we should get the hello world just like we got before. And then here, if we wanted to customize it, we can edit, and then um, we can update the script there. We can also go into the custom shelf here, and we can see that it is named basically this whole script name is its name, uh, but we can just go in and say this is hello world. And it doesn't change anything there, it's just for this section here. Uh, the icon name right now it's um, Python, but if we look at Maya, um, there's a whole bunch of different icons that we can use. Um, so let's say we had that. Um, it can be whatever you have there, or you can get your own icon button in here and load it yourself. Uh, tooltip, so right now if we hover over it, you'll see that it has a tooltip. And it basically just gives the code right now, but we can say um, print hello world. There you go. So now when we hover over it, let's try again. There you go. It says prints hello world. Icon label, that's the part on the bottom that um, you can customize so that you can see it. You can add colors and other stuff like that. But this will be the last one that I'll show you guys right now. Um, we can say hello world. And we can see that it puts it out here. You can see that hello world is a bit longer than what actually fits in there. So um, maybe for hello world, the script, I'll just do like hello world HW. So if we click on here, it will run the hello world script. And that's a kind of cool way to get access to do a script really quickly and be able to save it somewhere so that way you don't have to load up a whole bunch of scripts. You can just have a whole bunch of buttons with scripts on them and run them through there. So that is it for this Hello World um, script tool that we're creating here. So in the next lesson we'll go over how to create a Hello 3D World project. So we're going to script out a project, bring in Maya commands, and have the words Hello 3D World actually be visible in the viewport here. So stay tuned for that video. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.